and welcome to another edition of Quote the Raven, Lewis Bright Raven. I am your host, Lewis Bright Raven, 28 year veteran, writer, illustrator, and editor in comic, science fiction, fantasy, horror, and role playing games. Uh, today is day nine of October 2020, where I do reviews of books and comics and stuff like that. The reason this episode is running so late today is because I was out running errands and I ended up waiting almost two hours to get into a building, uh, the commissary at the local base to get our groceries because of the COVID-19 situation. They kept saying it was too many people in the commissary and they wouldn't let people in. So I had to stand around all day and it was like six and a half hours uh, getting groceries and I was pretty much wiped out after standing out of my all that time. Uh, it was not fun. Uh, and that was the only errand I had to run this t- today. So it was not, it was not a good day. Um, so I wasn't here to do, to prep the show properly and everything. So, but we, we got in everything in time and uh, we'll get everything done. At least so that uh, it does air today. Uh, like it's supposed to. Mm-hmm. First off, uh, I want to say uh, yesterday, last night's episode, um, with the um, basically going back in, into my history, I had a little bit of a contest, asked people not to answer a um, question about it, um, if they knew what song I was parodying in the opening graphic, um, lyrics wise, um, only one person answered, that was John Norris, he got it correct. Um, and that is as you can see Coat of Many Colors by Dolly Parton so he will receive the prize (laughs) I'm sorry you guys gotta start paying attention and watching the show when it airs live so that when I do these little gifts, you can get in on it and potentially win a prize. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes it's a little thing. Um, I didn't say what the prize was yes, last night, so maybe that's why people didn't bother. I don't know. Uh, for John, it's going to be uh, a sketch of uh, Venom, probably on, on a Venom comic or something like that. We're going to ne- negotiate that. Um, but I'm going to be giving away other prizes uh, here shortly. Not tonight's episode, but in future episodes of Quote the Raven. So be sure to subscribe to the channel on YouTube to be caught up and uh, check in when those th- when our episodes air live. With that being said. There were no questions overnight. And this is going to be a rather short uh, episode. We're only going to have um, two books reviewed for today because of the timeline, uh, time restrictions. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, get to that then. Mm-hmm. We're going to start with the Richard Fairgrain Monster Showcase, Free Comic Book Day number one. Uh, it was free comic. Uh, it was doing out for free comic book day. I just received it like a week and a half ago or so at my local comic shop. Publisher was Golden Apple Books slash Holiday House slash Pixel and Ink Books. Um, the writer artist is Richard Fairgray with Paul Eiding as co-writer on the Blastosaurus uh, storyline. And the genre is all ages humor and horror. And uh, what it's about is this, story, this book has four stories in it. Uh, starting with a Blastosaurus story. There are no monsters here that revolves around criminals who are basically all freaks and monsters who hate Blastosaurus. Uh, When one of them, a Rice Krispie person, uh, suggests that their hatred is wrong and that they should look to Blasto as an inspiration instead of an enemy, they turn on him and tear him apart and eat the Rice Krispie dude. (laughs) Uh, In in Black Sand Beach, Chuck Malchuk makes a sacrifice to a giant monster every week, only he's running out of mayonnaise, and whenever he runs out, the monster will destroy the world. And there's two other stories in there as well. They're, they're, they're short little one-page snippets. Um, recommended for ages 15 and up. Uh, probably I should have, that's not really correct. It's, it's all ages, okay? I don't know why 
probably because I was trying to rush things I didn't realize I needed to correct the graphic. It's all ages, folks, uh, not 15 and up, all ages. And uh, I gave it four and a half out of five stars. Mm-hmm. Let's take a quick look at the artwork. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, there's this nice crispy guy kind of like standing up. And they're kind of like at this. Um, um, it's not like an Alcoholics Anonymous type thing, but it's the group meeting where they all complain about Blastosaurus. And he's telling them, you know, hi, how you are? You know, we're, we're here talking about Blastosaurus. And um, he's explaining how he ran into Blastosaurus and went to attack him with his Rice Krispie self. And Blastosaurus kind of took, took him to town and, and uh, washed him away with some uh, with a, with a water hose. And um, but he got his wallet. <laughs> and when he got the wallet, he realized that Blastosaurus was just like the rest of them. So. Why should we hate him? We should actually use to, you know, he's he's actually become popular in town and everything, and everything's kind of cool. We should probably do things differently. And we should just, you know, cancel this whole uh, collection group. It's called My Butt Hurts. <laughs> and uh, they're all shocked, and they all think it's real. You know, this guy with the box head here says, I don't even think that he's really who he says he is. I think he's Blastosaurus in the disguise. And they all attack him. And like I said, you know, there he is. There's the monster who tears the Rice Krispies guy's head off his shoulders. And then they just, you know, piece by piece eat him. <laughs> it's Rice Krispie Street. <laughs> uh, that was a kind of, kind of a cute story. And then this is a uh, two-page spread between... Um, Chuck Malchuk and the monster here. And this monster will eat the world, but it, unless this guy gives him sacrifices, and the sacrifice is a jar of mayonnaise. And it's not like a little jar, it's it's the industrial size too. But when you think about the size of the beast compared to the mayonnaise, uh yeah, it's it's kind of funny that this little jar of mayonnaise uh satisfies this <laughs> uh and he won't eat the world, but he's running out of mayonnaise. And he's like, what's going to happen when I run out of mayonnaise? <laughs> so I thought that was kind of a cool thing. I really do like uh, Richard's um, detail work. Um, there's a lot of really nice um, textures for scales and textures for the Rice Krispie guy. Um, just a really good artist, I think. And very underrated. Mm-hmm. Our next book is Street Fighter 100 from Yunnan Entertainment. This is another free time of day book. Writer was Ken Seung Chung. The artist is Panzer. The genre is martial arts action, and it was released in October of 2020. It's free. And what it's about is Ken and Eliza invite all the Street Fighters to their 10th wedding anniversary bash when Ryu meets up with Gao. He senses that something is seriously wrong with Gao and attacks him. Chun Li and the Others think, not thing, think Ryu is possessed by, once more by the evil that afflicted him in earlier storylines, and Chun squares off against Ryu while Ken and the other fighters help the guests get to safety. Uh, Ryu tries to explain to Chun-Li that Gao is in himself, and, that, and eventually after a spirited fight between the two, it is revealed that a parasitic entity had possessed Gao and is now separate from Gao, and the pair um, team up and dispatch the enemy together. This is for ages 15 and up. It is a three out of five star. It's just a typical um, comic for these days. And uh, here's some of the artwork from Panzer. Um, this is Chun Li going into the bash, and she was expecting it to be a little bit different, but not a rave, but that's what they kind of made it a rave. <laughs> and all the Street Fighter characters are there at party for some reason and i'm not quite sure why that is because to me some of these characters are supposed to be mortal enemies anyway but okay whatever uh, i'm not really a street fighter uh, fan so i don't really know how the comics play out compared to some of the anime series i've seen but uh this is uh chun uh fighting ryu <laughs>
and then finally the uh the, the entity reveals itself and um exits outside of Guile's body and hits both of them and the fight begins to in earnest to uh defeat the parasite creature mm -hmm. and then after they've defeated him Guile has come to him and he's like yeah I, I was I'm sorry I wasn't in, I was it's a complete control of me I had no idea what was going on and um okay whatever you know we, we stopped the thing so let's just have our party <laughs> uh you know it's okay mm -hmm. um like i said typical um modern day manga modern day comic type stuff um not a street fighter fan particularly but for free you know okay <laughs> it was it wasn't a complete waste of my time or anything like that and unfortunately that's all we've got for tonight it's a, it's a real short episode because of the time constraints. Um, we will have two episodes tomorrow. Mm -hmm. One will be at noon, and that will be the Booktober episode. And we will review four books instead of two. We'll be reviewing Zoo Patrol Squad, which is another free comic book day book. Another free comic book day book from uh, Random House Graphics. Stepping Stones and Max and the Midnights. Adventure Man number four. And Backtrack number seven. That will be our four for tomorrow. And then at around 2 p.m. Eastern um, Daylight Time tomorrow afternoon on Saturday. I'll be doing the live draw of the Morbius Living Vampire sketch cover that I talked about a couple days ago when I reviewed this book and mocked it. I'm going to do that joke cover uh, for the live draw session. Okay? So we will see you guys then. In the meantime, if you have questions... or you want to contact me for some other reason, you can reach me on Facebook at lewis.brightraven, deviantart.com slash brightraven, on YouTube at quote the Raven Lewis Brightraven, at Gmail at quote the Raven LBR72 at gmail.com, or at Yahoo at Lewis Brightraven at yahoo.com. The regular weekly podcast airs Thursdays at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Mm -hmm. And with that, I will bid you guys adieu until tomorrow. Have a good night. Mm -hmm.